guys welcome to my channel today we're going to be having my first clean with me this is going to be of course a kitchen edition so first I'm just going to be starting off with putting away all of the dishes um, away into the area that have already been washed I just have like this drying mat here that I leave out for of course when the dishes are drying and then I'm putting them all in their designated spaces there goes a little people, a little Miss Mila. Um, I definitely didn't think before doing this that I should have probably waited until she went down for a nap because I kept having to pause the video, no exaggeration, probably like six times to just kind of get through everything without all of the interruptions she was giving me. Without thinking about it and seeing how stressful it was to edit all of the footage, like I said, because she was in it so much, I probably should have just left her in there because this would have been a true mom life cleaning routine. That's just the daily struggle, her constantly interrupting and you having to pause your cleaning or your cooking about 20 times throughout the day. Now that I'm all done putting away all the dishes away from last night, this cleaning routine actually started after Mila and I had breakfast, so I'm just washing a couple of the dishes that were from breakfast. As you can see, we just have about two of our bowls from what we ate, and then of course I do have a big bowl because we had some fruit, so I just kind of finished it off and cleaned out this food storage that I have for my fruit that I keep in the fridge. clip of me drying off these dishes that I just washed kind of disappeared. I don't know to wear, but I just basically dried them off camera and then I'm just putting them in there, just new areas just as I did previously. Then I like to keep this basket when I'm cleaning a particular room. I just kind of keep it in there because anything that doesn't belong in that room, I like to throw it in this basket and then put it, of course, into the area where it belongs. Here I just had some things. We actually did pumpkin carving a couple of days ago. So I still had all those things that I just had washed that I needed to get put away into, of course, storage now that we're done with that and the season is coming to an end. Now going on to my stove area, I just like to take off all the grills from the actual stove and place them in the sink. And then I'm going into the interior of my microwave and doing the exact same thing. This way everything can be clear for when I clean the surface of the stove. As you guys see here, I actually have a scrub daddy. I really love the ones that have like the smiley face on them for scrubbing all of my surfaces to get any scum that's really on there. It really takes all of that out with little effort so you don't have to really be putting so much work into your arms. I just put a little bit of dish, deter, dish soap onto it, soak it a little bit, and then I go on to scrubbing all the areas that I need to. As you saw, I did the microwave, and now I'm just going on to the stove. Since you know with cooking and everything like that on the daily, it can get a lot of residue on top of there, so I like to really scrub on it. Also, this video is pretty lengthy. I focus only on the kitchen, but the reason it's so long is this is something that I would do once a week. This is not a daily kitchen cleaning routine. Like I said, it's something that I do once a week, so it, of course, is more in-depth. taking my Method Antibacterial All-Purpose Cleaner. Now that we scrubbed everything down, I like to now, of course, sanitize it all. So I'm just going to spray this in all the areas that I use my Scrub Daddy on. Like I said, the interior of the microwave, exterior, and of course, the whole stove area.
thing, I'm going to go back into my sink and I'm going to scrub down all of those grills. This way they could go in nice, fresh, and clean since I wiped down everything on the stove and microwave. As you guys can see, I just put some gloves on because I do actually suffer from really bad eczema. Primarily, it's on my hand area, so whenever I'm working with a lot of water, I do have to apply gloves. It's just something, if not, my eczema gets really, really bad, and I felt like this has made a huge difference in making it not break out as badly. So I'm just scrubbing it down with my regular sponge, but I do use the hard surface side. And these sponges, actually, if you guys watch my shop with me in Target, these are the Scrub Daddy sponges. So unlike the ones that have the smile, face on it that are all a hard surface these have a soft side as well as the rougher side so I'm just using the rougher side to go ahead and scrape off any scum that I may have on the grill from any food residue from cooking now that I'm totally done with washing any dishes that I have um, for that particular time I'm going to go ahead and move on to cleaning my sink I'm just using this comment. I pretty much have some left over in it, so I just want to use it up. I'm looking to get like maybe a gel sink clean or something like that that's a little bit easier or that'll paste a little bit better. But for now, like I said, I had this and I just kind of want to use it up. So I'm taking that sponge once again. I'm adding a little bit of dish soap to it, removing anything that I may have inside of the sink, such as my um, sponge and dish holder. This way I can get all the sides, all around on the actual handles and everything. I'm just scrubbing it all down so no residue is on there and we can get rid of any um, germs. I of course like to make sure that I also clean the suspenser that I, like I said, have my sponges and my dish soap in. Just because your sponges, having them throughout the week, they can have food residue on them and get kind of dirty and germy in there. So I really like to scrub that out as well when I'm cleaning my sink every week. Once I'm done cleaning, I'll go ahead and just rinse out the sink area. And then finally, like I said, since I'm done washing dishes at this point, I'm going to go ahead and clean my gloves. I just take a little bit of dish soap, rub it all in like I would with normal hand washing, and I'll do the same thing to my gloves. I'm just taking a towel and drying off all of the grills this way I can place them back on the stove and they're not sitting there waiting to dry since I next of course need to tackle my countertops and I need to have that space cleared. Now that I folded away my drying mat, I'm just going to kind of throw it into um, the laundry because this of course needs to be now washed. And now I'm just clearing off all of the counter spaces. This way we can go in back with the scrub daddy and I'm going to be scrubbing all of these surfaces as I did with my stove and microwave. If you guys have never tried the scrub daddy, I do highly recommend it if you're not going to use it for washing dishes and definitely for cleaning your surfaces. It has made my life so much easier. Any of the products that I use in this video or any of my other videos, you guys know that I always will have everything linked down in the description bar. So if you're interested in checking it out and want to know the exact name if you're looking to purchase, it will, like I said, be down in the description bar. Next, I'm taking my method cleaner here now that I've scrubbed everything down and my microfiber cloth and just going ahead and putting all that spray on everything, especially the handles that I'm touching every day. I want to make sure I get all of that bacteria and germs off of it, so I'll just spray a little bit onto the microfiber cloth and then I'll just wipe down each handle of everything as well.
then before I put all of my things back, I like to also wipe them down with a microfiber cloth in case there was pretty much on those items since they're more just on display on the shelf, they get kind of dusty, so I just like to kind of wipe them down to dust all of them off and place them back in their right place. Then I'm going to be taking these oil scents that I'm going to be placing into my little candle holder and placing a tea light and lighting it, of course, so you can get a nice fresh scent throughout the whole kitchen. Now onto my kitchen table, same thing, clearing it all off. I feel like a lot of these steps are just going to be repetitive, but when you have lots of different surfaces, I'm just kind of doing the same steps, so I'm not going to feel like I have to explain it for you for each time. Same thing, scrub daddy, scrubbing down the surfaces, and then going in with the antibacterial spray. And just taking my chairs luckily in this kitchen since we use our table a lot we wanted to make sure we had wipeable chairs so these are just like some fake leather chairs that I like to wipe down or right in the crevice where the actual board of the um, of the chair and the base meet gets a lot of actual crumbs and everything like that in there so I really have to make sure every week that I get in there and then I just like to wipe down the tops in case any dust or dirt got on there Next, I'm taking a Baby Ganex wipe. This is, of course, going to be taking away any germs or anything like that that Mila may have on her high chair. I like to, of course, wipe the surface and then wipe, of course, the interior a little bit on the legs. I will try to put this into the dishwasher usually once a week. This way, I can get a nice deep clean. But since I already had done that, I just wanted to go ahead and wipe down with this actual cloth. Here I'm just taking all of my kitchen chairs out of the kitchen area. This way we have more floor space available for when I need to go in with the vacuuming and the mopping. And here I'm just tossing my sponges into the microwave for about a minute to go ahead and disinfect them. Now onto my fridge area, I'm just taking that antibacterial spray once again to clean all of the spaces where like ice comes out, the water, all of that type of stuff that kind of tends to get some color on it from the water dispenser and everything like that. Then I'm going to go in with taking care of my stainless steel. I absolutely love this Wyman stainless steel cleaner. It's the best that I have tried so far, not leaving any type of streaking all over and leaves it nice and bright. So I just like to take one side of that microfiber cloth. This is a new one when I of course go in with doing the stainless steel and I take one side to wipe it all down and wipe all of that product in and then I flip it to the other side just to rub in with no additional product to help give some shine. I just wanted to show you guys a comparison of how clean compared to like how dirty and all of the fingerprints and everything and the water streak marks that the other one has. Now that I'm done with all my surfaces, I'm going to go ahead and take care of the floors. I'm using my Dyson handheld vacuum and I'm going ahead and vacuuming the entire kitchen area, moving things around like the garbage cans and stuff. This way I don't forget any places. Now for mopping, I'm going to be plugging in my Shark Steam Mop. I used to use a traditional mop, but ever since I started using the Steam Mop, it literally has made my life so much easier. You just fill it with some water, hit the setting that you want for kitchens because it is tiled and we go through that area a lot with cooking and everything like that. I do use the highest setting, this way I can really get deep into the floors. 
and it is so incredibly easy. I feel like my floors are extra, extra clean. For days that I feel like they may be a little more dirty, I will actually spritz a little bit of floor cleaning fluid onto the floor prior to doing this, but you totally don't have to. The steam is meant to get rid of any bacteria and germs and everything like that. All right, so that completes my very first clean with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and I will be having more clean with me's in the coming weeks, so stay tuned, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.